Now let's take a look at workflow management within eBuilder Enterprise. Ultimately, what we're trying to accomplish here is enforcing your organization's uh, specific policies and procedures that are wrapped around processes. This can include payment processes or turning RFIs into change requests and then approving changes and change orders. Um, and if a change order goes over a certain amount, escalating that to the right person in the organization. Also, making sure that you're consistently capturing information and tracking when and who captured information throughout processes. And so since you're managing a variety of different stakeholders on a variety of different projects across your program, ultimately what you're doing is trying to create consistency, transparency, as well as hold each of those stakeholders accountable for all of the activities going on on your projects. Here within our project, We'll go to Processes. We can then filter the processes list by processes that I've initiated, as well as by type. So let's go ahead and go to a daily inspection process. This will then filter the list. I'll then select on that item in the list, and it will open me up to those details. I can then take a look at all of the different requirements, including what equipment that I was reviewing, the labor that went involved in the inspection, all of my notes, and who did the inspection and when, as well as showing a complete history. So when I go here, I'll see exactly who, what time, and what date, as well as which fields were filled in. I can also attach any supporting documents or any photos that were involved in the inspection. Then we can open up the workflow. So here we can see all of the different steps that are involved in the process, including the roles and different things that need to be done from start to finish.